Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a color game in JavaScript. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring an IDE. I will be using VS Code Editor in this video and some basic knowledge of HTML and CSS to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. This is the HTML file. Let me show you how it looks first. Okay, this is the interface. You can see uh, we have the H1 over here. Okay, these three are the buttons over here and these are the squares. So uh, let's see the HTML. Okay, its title is color game. We have the font from the Google API. Okay, uh, this is the link for it and uh, I have attached the style sheet over here which uh, is named is uh, named as color game dot CSS over here you can see the script okay color game dot JS uh, over here we have the h1 tag then uh, there is this uh, div you, uh, you can see the stripe over here okay uh, and uh, under that div we have three buttons okay and there is uh, this message over here uh, whose ID is provided as message okay we'll be changing in uh, changing this message in the JS file then there is this container and we have several divs uh, which uh, is provided a class of square now let's move to the CSS file okay I have uh, provided uh, some uh, background color to the body and the font family is set okay these squares are provided with some border radius okay some margin and the uh, padding okay so this is the final outcome you can design it in your own way and uh, make it more beautiful uh, the h1s are also designed okay the stripe uh, you can see the background color is white okay uh, now let's move to the js file okay this is the uh, uh, js file over here there are some properties okay using the query selector we can uh, have the variables over here so uh, there is this variable num squares which is initially six okay there's this uh, array of colors okay this is the method which returns the array and uh, this query selector we have uh, h1 the squares and uh, picked color okay this is the picked color this is the function i'll ex uh, explain you in a minute and uh, the message over here can be uh, held in this variable message display there is this reset button and uh, the mode buttons okay the mode uh, this id is uh, the class sorry the class is given to this easy and hard mode and uh, we have the reset id given to this uh, new colors uh, over here you can see these two are the modes so easy mode and the hard mode now let's move to the file okay uh, we are calling this init method uh, whenever this uh, html file uh, runs okay first this init function is called so over here there are three other functions the setup mode the setup squares and the reset okay so let's move to the setup mode button so over here you can see this is uh, the mode is changing okay when we press on easy we can see three squares and uh, when we press on hard we can see there are six squares okay so uh, there is this loop over here okay so uh, we can uh, see the we are uh, removing this class selected okay from the buttons okay uh, let me show you the class okay this one is the selected one 
we are giving the background color as blue okay so you can see when we press on that button uh, it stays blue so okay so we remove uh, the class selected from both and uh, give the selected class to that instance which has been clicked okay and uh, we change this value of num squares to 3 if easy is pressed okay if the easy button is pressed and its text content uh, is equal to this so the value is changed to 3 otherwise it is 6 then this reset uh, method is called okay now uh, about this function setup squares so uh, we are looping it okay uh, this colors dot length colors is the array uh, array of random colors okay so we are providing the uh, click listener to the squares okay you can see we have uh, created this variable over here squares okay using this query selector all squares so over here we are providing the uh, click listener to all the squares one by one okay and uh, giving uh, the background color uh, we are acquiring the background color of that uh, clicked one okay you can see uh, in this variable click color and uh, if it matches with the picked color okay picked color uh, a random color will be picked from a uh, uh, array of colors okay and uh, if it is equal to the one which we have clicked okay then the message display text content will change to correct and uh, the reset button text content will change to play again let me show you uh, suppose we are playing easy so i am clicking over here okay it displays try again i am clicking again okay so if the right color has been chosen the text content changes to play again of the reset button and the message displays to correct okay and uh, you can see the this background color of h1 has also been changed to uh, this color which uh, which was picked okay so h1 dot style background color has been changed to click uh, click color and this method change color uh, you can see uh, that all the squares got the same color so this method does that i'll explain the working else uh, we are uh, you can see the one second when i click the wrong one it uh, vanishes actually the it uh, the background color changes to the uh, this one black which matches the background color of the whole content uh, container so uh, we it appears that it vanishes then the message uh, content changes to try again you can see over here okay this was about the setup squares now let's move to the reset button okay this is the reset button so what it does so on clicking the button first we generate random numbers uh, random uh, array of colors uh, sorry the random col uh, random colors and uh, it is uh, uh, saved in this array of colors then we pick a random color from that array okay from these colors we pick a random color and then we store it in this variable picked colors then we uh, we are giving each color uh, we are acquiring this array and looping it and uh, acquiring the uh, each element which is the random color and giving it to the squares okay and uh, resetting it will change the background color to blue you can see the right now the h1 has blue okay the and uh, when it uh, gets the correct answer it changes 
so on resetting it it changes to blue so this line does that and the message content is uh, set to null and the text content changes to new colors okay this was about the reset button now there's this function reset uh, which has been called over here you can see okay so what this uh, method does so uh, again it uh, grabs the random colors and uh, converts into array and uh, then we pick another random color from that okay it ensures that the reset button has the uh, text uh, content of new colors and there is no message at the center then uh, okay you see over here that uh, on pressing this easy we got three uh, squares and on pressing this hard we got six squares okay so actually the display changes to none if uh, the array of uh, squares you see over here there is this loop okay so we have hard coded it uh, here so there will be six squares okay uh, initially so it will loop through all the squares but uh, uh, if the user has chosen the, uh, easy okay if the user has chosen easy so the num uh, one second the num squares value will be changed okay so we'll have a smaller array one second okay so there are there will be six squares suppose we have chosen easy so there will be the array of three uh, three colors so uh, when we access the fourth element uh, which uh, which is the index of three okay colors three so that value will be null so we change it okay for it uh, the control moves to the else part and we change the display to none else we have the display of block and provide each color from the array okay and change the background color to blue now let's move to this change color uh, i told you that uh, uh, it provides the same color to all the squares okay we are looping it and giving the color now pick color it randomly picks a color from this array of colors okay so this is we are using mat.random and multiplying it with that colors dot length array so we got the index now there's this random uh, generate random colors okay we provide the number uh, like we did over here initially num squares okay initially it was six so we provide the number uh, it initializes an array and uh, it push random colors to it okay and then return it so random color this is the random color function uh, we have the rgb value okay rgb ran uh, random value so it uh, goes from 0 to 255 so we need to multiply it uh, with 256 using and uh, to this value mat.random then get the floor value okay now we have the r value the g value and the b value okay we return this string so we got the random color now we send this uh, function over here okay and uh, the array has been returned uh, okay this was it uh, i have shown you the working let me do it again so new colors uh, colors has been given to each squares now on pressing it it uh, makes it the background color to the black okay and displays the try again okay if i got the right answer then all the squares becomes uh, of that same color Okay, this was it. I hope you understood the working of the code. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to